Alright, this time we're going to try out Gnome Sushi. Basically, it's a um, program that works with uh, Nautilus that can allow you to, you know, quick preview your files. So, I'll give you some examples. Uh, if you have, oh, well, it supports a lot of formats, but, you know, not every format, alright. But for pictures, you can do like, you know, you highlight it, you hit the space button, and you get a, a bigger preview of it. And you can actually hover over this and have the, I guess, the full screen button here. And you can go full screen, alright. Uh, I can hit escape here. Uh, other ways you can do is just use the hotkey itself. So use space, and you can press F for full screen. That's another way too. Now to exit, you can hit space, Q, or uh, escape. So you have three ways to, you know, get out of it. Um, other stuff you can do here. Let me see here. So for videos, um, give you examples that I have here. We go. See, it does preview the videos, and if you hover over this, you have this little seeker, and you know you can go preview it really quick. So that's for the videos, and let's go for the documents here. Documents. Um, see, so uh, I have let's see a C plus plus here, so you can you know preview it very simple you can go full screen or whatever you want um, even it works with PDFs and stuff like that so I'll give you examples of that too All right full screen now with this thing they actually have this hotkey to go up and down but it doesn't always work is J and K it's supposed to work if I don't know if you do some crazy shit like this and then it works see the the, the the K moves it uh, back up, J moves it down. So it's kind of like the Vim commands or Google Reader commands, but uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't work always when you just open it. Uh, you have to do like some scrolling first, and they can use the J and K if you want to do that. But the the goal of this program is just to quickly preview the files in a bigger you know screen like this instead of opening your real um, program to do it not sure if that's actually useful because you know if you open your real program uh, it's probably more convenient to do that anyway it's a little novelty if you want to try it out it's just called gnome-sushi in your repositories alright so that's it for this one